So a couple of my friends uh, mentioned I should upload a video of my latest project car that I've been working on. Uh, this is a 1950 Chevrolet Styline two-door sedan. I got this car out of Yakima, uh, Ellensburg area two years ago and uh, I've been working on it for the last uh, couple years and this is where it's at today. Um, uh, got this car for about $800. The floors and the rockers, trunk were all gone. There's no engine. Uh, I uh, replaced the door bottoms, the inner and outer rocker panels. Uh, built a trunk for it. Uh, put a Camaro engine in it from a 88 IROC. Uh, I um, it's got a C10 pickup column with a 51 uh, Pontiac uh, horn button. Use the American Auto Wire uh, harness on it. Let's see, let's start it up for you. Uh, behind the original gauges, uh, gauge faces, I put uh, Ford uh, truck gauges from 70s pickup and had the speedometer rebuilt and I machined some uh, turn signal indicators into the into the uh, bezel there. Uh, I reworked the clock, and got that working. Uh, let's see. Let me open the hood up for you here. drive. I put a uh, Mustang 2 front suspension on it. Uh, chassis engineering. Their stuff's okay. Uh, I was a little disappointed with some of the weld quality uh, so I ended up re-welding some of the some of the, uh, the spring hats and some areas on the control arms uh, because the, some cracks in the welds. Notch the frame at five inches. Uh, I didn't need five inches, but I notched it five inches. Um, it's got a Ford Explorer um, rear, uh, rear axle, disc brake rear axle. It worked out fairly nice because it was the right width. Uh, no power steering, unfortunately. I'll show you the trunk. Notch there. You can see if you if you're looking close, you can see where the patina here has been faked, and up here this is all original. So that's kind of the line. Uh, about right here, I replaced all the way around the car, the rear tail pan there, the quarters, um, rockers and all that. So, anyway, figured I'd share it with you.
one interesting thing I found uh, with this car was the bumper, the original bumper was used to pull it out of the field that I, uh, I got it from, but this bumper was sitting in the car. And that little logo there is from the uh, World War II Sixth Army uh, out of, and, and I guess they were stationed out of uh, Fort Sam Houston in Texas, uh, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, not sure what vehicle it was off of, but fit the car okay. And uh, yeah. Anyway, there she is. Hope you enjoyed it.